every day when we finish with the nominees, they leave. When everybody has left, around 5 p.m., 6 p.m. mostly, or as late as we have finished. Unless you have a jacun who lasted up to 10 p.m. Yeah, mm -hmm. whatever the time, we will sit there and then we will take a decision on the each nominees for the day, each of them for okay. the day. And if By voice vote, by secret vote, or just by consensus of a sort? Most of the time, it is by consensus. Where there's a disagreement, the disagreement is always along party lines. Okay. So we disagree on this person. So the um, daily meetings to after vetting to decide on the nominee uh, happens, and that is when we actually take a decision on the report. See, people think that it is the appointments committee that approves. The appointment committee recommends to plenary. So the appointment committee can recommend by consensus that X should be approved by the House. The House still reserves the right to reject Mr. X, even though its committee has recommended by consensus. The House can still, even after a committee has, but it's never really happened. I mean, I don't remember it happening, mm -hmm. where the committee recommends by consensus, and, the house and then rejects. the House rejects, no. At least the House has some, has some respect for the, the committee. Mm -hmm. But technically, Technically, the House can still reject. Just that it will be difficult for you that both sides will agree by consensus in the committee uh, meeting and then it will be captured in the report. It will come to the House unless you have something fundamental mm -hmm. that the committee did not have access to. Are then you will bring it to the House. Mm -hmm. And if that escaped, the attention of the committee and it's so fundamental you may be able to convince the rest of the house mm -hmm. that well the committee did its best but it did a shoddy job for which reason the person should be if, rejected if at committee level you don't get consensus you have to vote and you vote and the nominee is rejected can that nominee be represented by the president how does that what does the law say the law doesn't say that a person who is rejected by the house cannot be presented again uh, by the president. The reason is that it's a political organization. It's not strictly speaking a law court. Okay? Um, it's a political organization. And people can be rejected for so many reasons. You can be rejected because in the House you haven't been able to garner enough people to support your nomination. Not because you are not capable of doing the job. You can go and rework that. You can go and rework that. The president can go back, you know, get back to the drawing paper, and then come back and then lobby the house, and then they will. But if at committee system. level you decide that the president should not go through, that's a report you send to the plenary, and the plenary decide otherwise or yes. If at the committee we disagree, and so we decide that we are going to send a report that says there is no consensus on the candidate, and very often, if um, I mean, there has to be a vote, and the vote can say either approve or, you know, reject. Mm -hmm. So 10 can say yes, 20 can say no, 20 can say no, 10 can say yes, you know. So when that happens, there's no consensus on you. And so you have to go back to plenary, and you have to be sent to plenary, and then there'll be a debate, and then there'll be a vote okay. on you. This is